This is a quick recap of my retreat that I've just returned from in the Loire Valley in France at the amazing Chateau de la Vigne. Let's get started. Here we are on our first evening getting to know one another with a glass of bubbly and a few canapes before dinner. And here we are in the studio on our first morning, starting off with a few colour mixing exercise and just getting to grips with the basics of watercolour. One of the most beautiful aspects of this chateau was its surroundings. It's so beautiful. There are so many inspiring places to paint within the chateau grounds. We visited the chateau at Montreux Ballet, which is stunning. And here is a view and the surroundings. We drove up to the chateau and here it is here, stunning. It's like a fairy tale. So we decided to do some sketching there using line and wash in our sketchbooks. It was a great opportunity to draw and sketch outside. You can learn so much by drawing from life and using tools such as viewfinders like this to help you understand scale. And it really does build confidence working together in a group. One of the wonderful things about being in the French countryside is the weather is gorgeous. And we got to paint outside most days under this beautiful tree here, shaded from the sun and just losing ourselves in the watercolor painting, everyone chatting, supporting one another, exchanging ideas. I was there on hand to demonstrate as you can see here and I did lots of step-by-step -step demos this was painting a rose without any drawing just getting everyone to loosen up and I took the photograph from one of the beautiful roses in the gardens of the chateau it gave everyone an opportunity to ask me questions I could stop I could demonstrate things again I really enjoyed that aspect of teaching. I love teaching face to face. I've been doing so for 30 years and it was so nice to meet people from around the world and share my love and enthusiasm for watercolour and my knowledge of what I've learned over the years. So as you can see here, I'm just sort of painting the rose, starting from the centre, wet on dry. And I've got three different pinks there. I'm using permanent rose, alizarin crimson and permanent magenta, but you can just use one pink and make it lighter by adding water and darker by adding more paint, making the paint slightly thicker. And if you want it really dark for the darks in the center, you could add a little bit of ultramarine, not too much, just enough to make the pink darker. And it's a really nice thing to do as well for practice, but also you could do this for a card as well. But this was a warm up exercise for the students before we did a more in depth sort of step by step painting, which I demonstrated later. But as you can see here, I'm dropping colors in wet into wet, slightly darker on the edge of the petal there. And you can be really loose with this and just play. And you can see here, I've mixed up some ultramarine with a little bit of yellow and I'm painting the background wet on dry. It's kind of like the negative space. So it brings out the light of that petal on the right hand side. And it really does bring the rose to life. And I'm just sort of diluting now and blending. But it's more of a quick sketch than a detailed painting, a nice one to get started with. And I'm just going to finish off this quick watercolour sketch of the rose with some darks and details in the centre, damp into damp with the alizarin crimson and a pinch of ultramarine using my size 8 round brush. And here's another clip of the students towards the end of the day supporting one another, still painting, so enthusiastic. And you can see a glimpse of the pool there and all this sort of accommodation that sort of led out onto this gorgeous courtyard under that beautiful tree. As you can see, we all had so much fun painting together. Our host May took us on a walk in the local area and it's lovely just to get outside into the French countryside. And this is just on the doorstep of the chateau. We were all so inspired by the amazing views and took lots of photographs and painted from our own photographs as well. 
The food was amazing at the chateau from canapes to delicious meals prepared by our hosts every day. As you can see here, we're tucking into another delicious lunch. We also visited the town of Samur overlooking the Loire River. You can see the chateau there on the left and a close up here and we do get to visit this beautiful chateau. And here we are arriving all keen, taking photographs, sketchbooks in hand as we walk up to the chateau. The views are amazing and we were so captivated by this, again, fairy tale castle and with all its amazing views across the Loire River. I loved walking around the streets of Samur. There were so many inspiring scenes to paint, as you can see here. I took lots of photographs of the market as well. So watch this space. I'll be painting some of these in the near future. We're all gathered together outside the studio on our last evening, celebrating the work that everyone painted during the retreat. I feel that everyone learned so much and really bonded with one another. It was such a happy time. As you can see here, these are just a few examples of the watercolours that we painted here on the retreat. Everyone was so supportive of one another and it was just so lovely standing under this beautiful tree in the dappled sunlight with all the wonderful paintings. And here we are all together with our wonderful host, May, enjoying our last evening at the Chateau de la Vigne. I feel that we all had the most amazing time making new friends, painting in watercolour at this beautiful French chateau. Thank you so much for joining me on this retreat and to Guy and May for hosting it and also to Uptrek for organising it. I will have details about next year's retreat shortly, so watch this space. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.